Hey you guys, so this is so good. I was doing my devotions and I decided to do a video on this because it is really, really good and I am getting like uh, nuggets out of what I'm reading. So I took notes over here and I'm gonna share with you guys some of the nuggets that I got. So I was reading about um, how an angel came to Zacharias um, and he said that his wife was gonna bear a child and his name was gonna be John. And on verse 18, in Luke 1, 18, Zacharias asked the angel, how can I be sure of this? I am an old man and my wife is well al along in, eight in years. So he was questioning this because this situation looked impossible. So it was hard for him to believe how this could take place because this was going to be, it looked like in an impossible situation. So then the angel said to him, I am Gabriel. I stand in the presence of God and I have been sent to speak to you and tell you this good news. And now you will be silenced and not be able to speak until the day this happens because you did not believe my words, which will come true at an appointed time. So what I am seeing here is he had to be silenced because of his unbelief. So when God speaks something to us, we need to be silent um, because if we aren't silent, we're going to end up speaking things against what God has spoken, which will cause unbelief. And I believe our words that come out of our mouth are so powerful that if we allow unbelief to come out and be spoken over our situation, then unbelief then becomes, um, not that it, I, I believe that then unbelief will settle in our hearts. And then I feel like it's harder for God to work where there is unbelief. Because that's why I believe he silenced Zachariah because Zachariah was able to continue to speak about this situation because this situation looked impossible that his unbelief would have um, got him. It might have not been good for the situation. So that's why God silenced him. Then we have over here, we read, meanwhile, the people were waiting for Zachariah, Zachariah and wondering why he stayed in so why he stayed so long in the temple when he came out he could not speak to them they realized he had seen a vision in the temple for he kept making signs to them but remained unable to speak so this is big because god wants us to be silent when he speaks something over our lives we're better to be silent than to speak anything because if we start speaking unbelief unbelief then roots itself in us and i think it's harder for god to move in that situation where there is unbelief so then it goes on when his time of service was completed he returned home after this his wife elizabeth became pregnant and for five months remained in seclusion the lord has done this for me she said in these days he has shown his favor and taken away my disgrace among the people so he had to be silent i believe until this took place so that there was no unbelief spoken over this situation wow 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 so what we speak has power that we need to be silent when god speaks a thing we need to stand in agreement whether we see see that situation come to pass in the time because at an appointed time which is right here it says it will come true at its appointed time so if god speaks something over you in your life you stand uh, firm you do not speak unbelief because in an appointed time that thing will come to pass so that is a nugget that i got out of my devotions today i believe it's a powerful one it does not matter what you're facing in your life if god has spoken over you that you will be healed you stand in agreement with that word that you will be healed you don't let unbelief take root into your heart you if you need to silence yourself over that situation and not be able to speak over that situation you silence yourself so that you will not take so that un, so that unbelief will not take root in your heart so uh, this is a great reminder that when God speaks something, if you're not able to continue to stand in faith and speak what he has spoken because the situation and what looks what it looks like in the natural looks impossible, I'm here to tell you that you need to silence yourself and let God move and let God work. I don't care if it takes years, if it takes months, uh, whatever the time frame it is. For it will come at the appointed time, which is God's time. We do not know the appointed time, but we are here to, to, we are called to trust in that appointed time. And in that 
appointed time, it will come to pass. But God needs our unbelief to be silenced so that we do not uh, get it, that we do not mix up that plan that he has for us and that promise that he has for us. So if you are not able to be silent, just uh, if you're not able to believe in this impossible situation or this miracle that God has spoken over your life, then you need to be silent and to stand on the word of God and trust that what he says is what he says and it will come to pass in its appointed time. So I just wanted to share this with you guys. I feel the Holy Spirit all over this. But um, thank you for watching and I hope this encouraged somebody and I will see you guys later. Bye.